I arrived to this island about 25 years ago. When I first got here, there was almost no tourism industry and there were very few, there were very few people on the island. Life was a little bit more difficult. We didn't have any electricity, we didn't have any power tools, just hammer and a machete and we harvested our wild cane uh, to make walls and we used coconut leaf to make the roofs. And then after three years, I met my wife, Anna, and we got together to continue putting this project of self-sustainability. The most successful steps in becoming energy self-sufficient was first getting the solar panels and the latest is turning plastic into diesel which is a very easy process and just about anybody can do it here's what we're doing today is we're going to make diesel from plastic you know common plastic that you have around your house so it's very easy all you have to do is uh, pack it into an oxygen free environment and cook it and let it do its own process. So after this cook, this is, uh, we made a little bit of a fire. It's only been going on for a few minutes, yeah. Um, the hotter I do this and the longer, the more you make. So in this little bit, it's made this so far. And this is probably like a diesel fraction because we took this out of the, the first condenser. So we can uh, see if I have some matches here and we can put some down and see if it's flammable. It's heavy, it's thick, you know. Okay, this fuel right here, this is, uh, this is diesel. So I'll put this into my diesel generator so we can make electricity in our house for this evening. And, um, run the washing machine, the ice cream maker, and everything that we want. And then afterwards, you take gasoline, and that gasoline, I use my water pumps and uh, whatever else uh, I use gasoline for. So this is all from the trash, all from the plastic that washes up on the beach, all from the, uh, the plastic that is recycled, and that we just common plastic that you find underfoot is uh, actually good stuff that you can use. Making diesel from plastic helps provide the electrical needs of our house, business, and family, helps clean the environment, and also helps provide assistance to the local community. For instance, many people use coconuts to help them survive. They make coconut oil, and with the diesel that we make from the plastic, is used in the machine to help grind the coconut. So they take that home, make the oil with that, and afterwards, they give me back the trash, which I feed to my chickens. As another step for self-sufficiency, we had to build our garden to help provide food for ourselves. Uh, what we have here also is uh, we have an aquaponic system. It is really good for, for planting your, your herbs and your things like this. Things like tomatoes and fruit and these sorts of things, um, you normally need more more nutrients for your plants more than just um, nitrogen yeah right? so um, aquaponics might not be able to provide all of that for you but if you want to grow herbs all you need is a, a fish tank depending on how much uh, how many plants you're going to have uh, stocked with fish i don't think it really matters which type of fish you have we happen to have tilapia because they're very hardy fish they're difficult to kill and they eat like hogs. You can feed them just about everything from your kitchen. And the more you feed them, the larger they grow and the more um, fertilizer they make. So we use pumice stone because it's relatively inexpensive here. They have volcanoes in, on Managua side. So what we did is we made a little, um, a long kind of a bed, like a box, yeah? And it also has a sheet of plastic on the inside. It comes out and goes back into the system and just continued the process instead of returning it after um, the first box into the fish tank. So uh, I just put another box down 
and continued it for another 14, 16 feet, something like this. And just put my pots and the plants and put a little hole in the bottom of the pot so it will wick up the water that it needs. Yeah, keep itself moist. So I never have to water this at all. It's not something that's, uh, it's not a fast process. You're not in a hurry. It just pumps a little bit, but continuously. And it pumps all day, keeps all of your plants wet. And you don't, you don't even have to lift your finger. The industry on this island was coconuts, millions of coconuts. And most of these coconuts, they made oil to make soap with. In our effort to be self-sufficient, we thought it would be a good idea to try to make soap. And slowly, you know, just making for ourselves, providing a healthy, good for our skin, and it was also good for the environment. Anna was the one who makes the product. And when we first started, we never knew where it would go to, just thinking to provide for ourselves and the environment. And lo and behold, the business just keeps improving because it appears that there is a demand in the world for a nice, healthy, eco-friendly, self-sustaining products. So after all these years of living this way, we now know it's possible to have a fulfilling life, enjoying nature and taking care of it. If people embrace this idea of using alternative and renewable energy, there may be hope yet for the planet. We will see what this develops into the future. Um, at the moment, this is the uh, the practice prototype stage to see uh, to get this thing working the best and most efficient manner. Of course, anybody who's interested in helping out, they are more than welcome to help with something. Or they can also help us by uh, coming to stay here, coming to dive with us, because all of that is a help into the other projects that we do also. So that's very good. Thank you.